FA fencer Yezer Ramirez's journey to the Olympics is still hard for even him to believe. Thinking about where I come from, I didn't see myself ever, ever, never thought I was going to make the Olympic team uh, in the United States. Yezer didn't have the same things growing up that others in his sport might have had. I started fencing when I was 10 years old. I had my first pair of fencing shoes when I was 18. That shoes was going out shoes, going to school shoes, and then compete in it. But practice, everyday practice, no shoes at all. Despite his beginnings, Yezer succeeded in Cuba. I was very close, like a month away to go to, to the World Championship. So I made the senior national team in Cuba as a junior fencer. Then Yezer got life-changing news. The special Cuban migration lottery allowed Cubans like Yezer to move to America. My father put my name down on the lottery ticket when I was three years old. Three. He never told anybody. He kept it quiet for himself. And then when I was like 17, kind of 17, 18, that's when he told me, hey, this is what I have. In New York, Yezer sought out Olympic fencer Peter Westbrook to continue his fencing career. Peter was on a mission to teach kids the sport of fencing. The Peter Westbrook Foundation, we've been operating for over 30 years. Our objective, our mission is to serve inner city kids. We introduce them to the sport of fencing. We show them how to overcome all obstacles and become great. Unfortunately, Yezer was no longer a kid. Yezer came to me when he was about 20 years old. I said, 20, you're over the hill. So I went there and I came in second place. After that, Peter was really, really surprised. Okay, you're pretty good. He's 20, he's a little over the hill, but he has a lot of potential. Peter and his foundation started training Yezer and brought him into the family. One of his new family members was Dwight Smith, Epe coach and fellow Peter Westbrook Foundation member. Peter creates that family-like environment. So I called my Peter, my, you know, my grandfather. And it's like, it's more like a family, like a brotherhood. When I met Dwight for the first time, he was with me from day one. You know, we're like brothers, so like when, when he needs me, I got him. Anything I need, Dwight's always there for me. So he's like my best friend. In Cuba, he never saw somebody really be loud in his corner 100%. And I think they really flocked to that. And in this season, Dwight was a big, big part of my success. It's amazing, it's a dream come true that he has become an Olympian. And I'm proud to represent the United States. I'm proud to represent the foundation and also the Latino culture. Yacer wants to help people in Cuba who are facing the same struggles he once did. It's all about giving back. And I'm just gathering equipment, mask, jacket, epic, so when that pandemic thing is over, we're gonna just chip it back for people in Cuba that has no shoes, that kind of like had the same situation as me. At least so they can say thank you. At least, you know, I feel good about giving somebody uh, something that I never had. An immigrant from Cuba, fencing with no shoes, is representing the United States of America with shoes. That is a dream come true.